Hey, 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 my folks of YouTube, welcome back to Cooler Playing Shadowrun Returns. This is episode three. We are now going to commence the next area of the mission. Run in the Redmon Barrens. Run in the Seattle Sprawl, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business, and the Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part, radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for a mean-ass hell. You leave the sanitized death and formidably hide of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy of desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He excels with an expression of re, ri, ra, contentment. The stench and grime tell him he's home. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. Does the bus stop here? Look, like it's a prostitute. Looking for a date? Elves are my favorite kind of people. Oh, that's good. That's good. To be honest, I don't remember. Actually, before I go over there, let me go over here. Sarah. Hey Sarah, what's good, girlfriend? Her clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from down, drawn. Hey, not that it's my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why, what's going on? They rode in this morning on those... Just some Halloweeners stirring up trouble again. They rode in this morning on those fancy bikes that camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. Tropical. Well, typical, my bad. Typical, well, odds are those are the guys we're after. Anything else I should know about these gangsters? Hmm, well, their leader's a big old troll named John Paw. Real piece of work, even for a weenie. Yep, that's him. Thanks for the heads up. No, sway it. No. No. Nice. Hidden in the garbage strewn in the lively is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is perfect match for your skills. You take the view. Alright. Leglehood Force One Air Elemental Fetish. Summon to Force One Elemental. The fetish is consumed when used. What would you like to, to do with this item? Send this item to your stash. Leave this item alone. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so I got my drone. Head over the loop, bozo. Ah! He punched me. Grenade! Oh my god! What is that redness? Mission failed, you died. What do you mean, man? Um. Last. Old last save. The, the, the dude threw a grenade and I died. Just like, like that. My life flashed before my eyes. I don't need to talk to that girl. I already spoke to her. That was pretty unfair. I'm not gonna lie. Please, not not the same thing. Don't happen again. Come on. 
Punched me. Oh, he threw me in. But I survived. With really low HP. So welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good. Dead drops are so hard to keep. <laughs> Chuckles. Well, at least they were it's too dumb to break my Magalog. Now that uh, you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. 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 My, my bot. He's wounded. He's wounded. He must do something. He must do. I don't know what to do, guys. Follow me, team. Let's go. Yeah. Worried man. Hey, worried man. I'm a man before you appears well mannered but nervous. Excuse me, sir. I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight, and we need some help. It's a problem. Some thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore, but no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Where is this market of yours? Uh, it's just down the street, sir. Please, our livelihoods depend on this market. Mm, down the street? Which way, man? I think it's over here. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's like a weed taking a root in the cracks and crevices of the world. Whenever it can, a small street market has been flourished here amidst the crumbling buildings of the Redmond Errands. Errands. Um. No, my problem. I probably should have stayed with the well. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm, but you can see the thug's patience fading fast, and he looks like he's about to start breaking things. Uh, who the hell are you? So if I had strength, or if I chose the adequate gang, I would have chose these options. Hey man, I've, I'm with you, but I saw a pig rig cruiser just block a block down. I want to come back tomorrow. Hey punk! Got a better idea. Hand over today's take and I'll let you leave alive. Bet your mom's real proud of you right now. I heard about you. Why don't you piss off? I like to pay for this mom. Protection. I ain't never heard that before. I don't see a badge. So why don't you mind your own business? Dusting you is going to get me paid. Maybe I'll just be on my way. Because I'm sick of gutter punks like you. I knew, I knew you were, were just looking to call static, static dash ice this guy. guy. Ah! Ow. Holy shit, how much HP this guy has? Never find a greater companion like Jake. I cannot thank you enough. I hate to see such bloodshed, but those men would not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our way in the world. Please, it's the least we can do. The shopkeeper holds out a few. Noonian, I guess you don't need more than I do. Hey, I got 48 bucks, bruh. 
48 million, 48 cats. Uh, uh, probably. Let me let me go save. Damn, I can't save. Let me go upgrade my character then. Spend karma. Too much resistance to physical damage. He's a chance. For every body point, hit points increase by 10. Confirm. Alright, so, so now he has approximately 20 HP. I think from before he only had 10. All right, let's uh, let's continue on with our journey, team. That guy looks like a Halloweener for sure. He's the Halloweeniest. We're gonna have to go through that regardless. Hey, ass wipes. Take another step forward and we are going to plant you right there. This is Halloweener property now. This is one of the two that got away. If I hadn't missed my shot, these idiots would have given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake. Bad idea, chummer. The Halloweeners are collecting that bounty and killing you. Well, that'll be a nice bonus. Oh god, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get socked in the face. Or not. I like, I like the, the little design, design right here, the Halloween. On. Make them pay, sir. Cover. Who's ass? Wait, what? Well, I only have one action because of the. Uh, yeah, you left some terrible stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I only, only have, have one action. action. Oh shit! Hey, that's a big dude. It's John Paul, people. John Paul. Whoa, uncle, uncle. I was just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners. Jake. Call it even, yeah? What do you think, Jake? He smirks. Hey, I'm already at sh shoot on sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wee wiener to shoot me in the back while I'm buying smokes. Hell, they'll be doing the same to you as soon as they're a profit in it. I want to tell him to tell his friends what happened here. How oh, naive. Ah, well, maybe it'll be worth to see him. To see, see him, him running, running off with his tail between, between his legs. legs. Karma. Don't you need a good karma? Alright, let's uh let's um explore, I guess. Normally the best thing to do here is to buy stuff. Well not buy, but like search the area for loot of some sort. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna try to do that at least. Okay. That was my attempt just so now. I tried and I didn't find anything. So I'm gonna continue on my merry way.
Bobby. Hey, hey Chummer. Chummer. Got, got some, some nasty, tasty morsels for just what every well-dressed shower owner should have in his back pocket. Let me see what you got. Oh, he's just he's selling drugs. Okay. All right, so s Nitro is a strength and willpower, plus 20 charisma, and intelligence, minus two for five rounds. Combat stem that increases body, plus two. Yeah, let's get this. Um, put that uh, right here, you know? Let's, let's, let's. Yeah. Steamstress Union. That's the place we have to go, but we still gotta continue on with searching for stuff. Dan the Donut, man. The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burnt soy cafes. Almost enough to overpower the dusty sewage stench of Redmond Streets. The troll working the stand is covered in food stains, older than he is. What can I get you, chummer? Take a jelly donut and a soy calf? $10. Ah, uh, what the hell. Enjoy. See, did you see the murder in the alley X's way? No, that was close when it happened, but hey, it's the Barons, a back alley killings, nothing new around here, and the only reason the cops are making a big deal about this ripper business is that some of the victims are real people, you know, folks with sins. What can you tell me about the Barons? I'll see you around. See you around, man. Jeez. Uh oh. As you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies the flashing red and blue lights up ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting on a corp issue bouncy. And the only one on my head isn't going away anytime soon. See you thousand. Sorry, friend. I think this is where our paths diverge. Thank, thanks again for the help with those Halloweeners. Here's your payment. You don't take new on where I'm going, and you look like you could use the funds. Uh, what were you? What? You want a hug or something? Likewise, Jake. Give me a call when you're in the cleaner. Yeah, sure. He starts to leave, then tilts his head back. Hey, one, one more thing. When you're done checking out your pal's crime scene, pop into the Steamtress's Union. It's just down the street. You need gear, information, or just a damn stiff drink. That's the place to be. Best dive this side of Chicago. I used that place as a base of operation for years. Back in the day. Make the right friends there, and I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of this river case. Well, nice knowing you. Jake turns and disappears in his little shadowy depths of the Marimba parents. Oh no, Jake is leaving. Oh, the, the, the horrors. William. Hello. The bright yellow police tape cuts through the darkness, directing your eyes to the white chalk outline and dark red stain marking the slab of pavement where Sam Waltz dies. Standing at the entrance to the alley is a Lone Star officer. The cop looks cold, hungry, and irritated at the homeless man who's currently pestering him. Well, I keep telling you, I need to get my stuff from the alley or I'm going to die in the cold tonight. The officer sighs. And I've been trying to explain to you that this is an official Lone Star investigation and I can't let anyone in here. Hey, I got rights. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket or I'll find a reason to use my sun ton. Typical. I hate all you pigs. He looks, looks in your, your direction. direction. Now, now what? Oh shit, that's, that's what, what the donut, donut was for. Alright, he said like, now what? So I got some options here. Am I, if I had chose my adequate to be security, what, they didn't radio you? Damn operator's probably asleep again. I'm here to take over your shift. You can head back to base. Or I could bribe him with the money and meet, meet my friend, Mr. Critstick. We just need a few minutes to look around, or an item, which is the donut I picked up. Long night, eh? You look cold, so I picked up a donut and some soy calf for you. Lie. I'm here to check the site for spectral DNA. 
I'm going to give him the item. Hey, thanks! The officer's face lights up as he takes a sip. He seems pretty trusting for an officer of the law. You know, when my dad was a cop, this was back when cops actually worked for the government. He said, folks would buy him coffee all the time, but I ain't seen it till now. So what can I do for you? I'm actually working for the dead man to find his killer. Can I come into the alley and look around for it? My pleasure. I'm here for internal affairs for real for you, the forensics guys work, so find anything they might have missed. Sure, dig in. I certainly wouldn't mind those guys getting taken down a peg or two. Man, do they put on airs if you know what I mean. Just like that. Just actually hold up, let me uh first talk to this this dude. The streets have not been kind to this man, but they have also hardened him. This man is clearly a survivor. The one wrestling with the unset of Asian arthritis. You, I saw you over there with that rat bastard cop. What you want? Know anything about the murder that took place here? You a copper or working for some corp? Just a freelance. I need to ask some questions. Good. I never tell those cops and salarymen none. What do you want to know? Did you see the murder? No, but I can't say I'm sorry. I missed it. I was hauling crates for Mrs. Jones up in the market. Can't carry as many as I used to, so it took a while. Got back here in time to see a Copra Taurus puking all over my home turf. By then, that jerk face in uniform had already set up shop in my alley. So it sounds like you live in this alley. Sure. For the last couple of months, I've been sleeping there, but I spent my days out doing odd jobs for the street merchants. Or panhandling tourists over near the steamless scene. What else did you see that night? Hmm. Well, you know, earlier in the night, I saw a big and ugly troll in green hospital scrubs snooping around the block. He bought some donuts and two cups of soy calf off the dam over there. Seemed nervous and he did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up with some cyberware. Can you tell me about the troll cyberware? Well, it was a big and I think it must have had some hospital attachments because I saw some needles. It was a lot of like one I saw back in 44 when I got captured by elves. They did all sorts of experiments on me. Let me tell you, never trust one of them cyber people. That's all I need to know, thanks. See you around. Okay, so here, here in the crime scene. Um, hmm. this looks like the coat and blanket that the old man was trying to get back. Pick up the coat and blanket. As you pick up the bundle of clothes, a printed receipt falls out from beneath the folds of the blanket. It's a bar tab receipt from the steamless union dated two days ago. 3.02 a.m. Right around the corner to report a time of death. The customer is Sam Waltz. This server's name is listed as Coyote. As far as the glass and broken whites, you find a small piece of glass which looks like the bottom of a test tube. There are two distinct sets of footprints. Humans ending at the chalk outline and a larger set, possibly or control. This work Light is new. You can see that all of the alley's normal light lights have been ruined upon closer inspection. It seems that they've all implode. Fuck. Uh, okay. I think this coat and these blankets belong to you. My stuff, mighty decent of you. Don't, don't see that, that kind of thing, thing too often out here. Alright, before I enter here, I'm gonna save the game and make it, and uh, that'll be episode 4. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for watching.